Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,477. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to create a helper column to show when there are duplicates in the event codes column and the task column shows special. Here are our topics, and this is the cool formula we're going to learn how to create. Now let's go over to the sheet 1477. Now here's our data set. We have event key, customer number, and task. Event key, we could see there are two duplicates right there. As we're going down, oh, there's a bunch of duplicates. And we only want to mark the record when there is a duplicate like there is there and the word special is in the task column. Now the first trick is, how do we mark the record when we know there are duplicates in the whole column? Well, we can do that easily using the count ifs function. Criteria range, I actually need to look through the whole column. So I'm going to click on the top cell, Control, Shift, Down arrow to jump all the way to the bottom. And then I need to lock it, so I hit the F4 key. F4 key locks it with the dollar signs. So as we copy down, that range doesn't move. And of course, it jumps the screen back in view. Now, comma, the criteria for counting. I'm going to use for the record a relative cell reference. Now, this will give us the exact count from the whole column for every record. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and I'm going to double click and send it down. So we can clearly see. For this event key, we have 4444. Now, I'm going to need to somehow translate this into a true or false, because we're going to have to run an AND logical test. Because I'm checking two things. Is the particular event key a duplicate? And is the task special? Now, there's a cool feature about Excel logical functions, the if logical test, the or logical test, and logical test, and even conditional formatting dialog boxes. Whenever you see logical or logical test, that argument can interpret any non-zero number as true and a zero as false. So I'm going to click Escape. Well, what do we have here? We have 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. Well, really, it's the ones that we want to show up as true and the numbers greater than 1 to show up as false. But forget that. I'm not going to convert it to trues and false. I'm going to convert it to either 0 or a non-zero number, F2. I simply subtract 1. That way, when there's a count of 1, when I subtract 1, it'll be 0. Now I'm going to double click and send this down. And there we go. False, true, true, false is true, true, true. Now, I just did this column so we could visually see it. I'm going to use this formula element inside the AND function. Control C, Escape. And now we have two logical tests. Anytime we have two logical tests and we want a true or false, we can use the AND function. An AND logical test will run however many logical tests we put in here. And it's only when they're all true that AND will deliver a true to the cell. Control V, that's the formula element that will deliver zeros and non-zero numbers, comma. Now for the second logical argument, we want to look at a relative cell reference. And then I want to ask the question, are you equal to whatever's in G4? And I'm going to lock that with the F4 key. Close parentheses, and that will do it. We have one, two logical tests, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And sure enough, now we have true for every record where there are duplicate event keys, and it happens to say special. All right, so that was a fun formula with the AND function and the count ifs function. In our next video, 1478, we'll actually see how to amend this formula to get it to work in the conditional formatting dialog box to highlight or format the entire row. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. We'll see you next video.